Hello everyone, um, we will speak together adaptive learning. Welcome to uh, my, my video. And uh, I am with um, MCNAM and I, I have a master smart tag and um, I prepared uh, this presentation. Uh, for Mike's uh, Wonder Weather's uh, educational competence course, I am with Jaba and Norgel, and we choose the, the topic is uh, we choose adaptive learning like as as a topic, and we we will specialist specialize in adaptive learning in language ex exegesis. Um, uh, I I I put here um, a proverb uh, of Galilei. Galilei, I think it's French. Uh, you can't teach. You can't teach people anything. We can only help them to the discover that they already have in them all that is to be learned. I I like. Uh, I like very much this proverb, and we will speak together today. Um, we will speak uh, what is uh, adaptive learning, what are what are three main elements, and there is three paths for what are uh, these, and how works adaptive learning, what is the adaptability of course, of courses and uh, adaptive learning system for language learning are our uh, topic what is background motivation and uh, what is the architecture of the proposal of adaptive learning adaptive e-learning system uh, i think i i i don't i can't speak uh, this topic because uh, nurgul will explain you and let's go we will we start and where where are we are in yes we are here definition what is adaptive learning adaptive learning is a technology that is set to revolutionize education simply defined it is a learning method in which one or more features of the learning environment adapt to the learner it's also known as adaptive adaptive teaching and is an educational method which uses computer algorithms to orchestrate the interaction with the learner and deliver customized resource and learning activities to address the unique needs of each learner it's really uh, we I will I will explain uh, in in next slide, but uh, there is a there is a an educational method and is adapt for all of uh, learners. Where is three? What what is the three main elements? First one, it's appearance or we can say form of learning. Is the way in which the learning actions like content, text, graphics, videos, they are presented to the apprentice. And second one, order. Order is the way in which learning actions actions are ordered and connected according to the to the rates at which the learner progress. We will see. Uh, Zoom, uh, in the next slide and finally we have the goal orientation refers to the actions of the system system that the lead the apprentice like first first steps to do success at the level of the difficulty we will see after and uh, I spoke uh, I spoke to the three paths first one is sequential paths it's really simply a course, a course more suitable, compatible in our classroom, which is linear and sample represented. Like here, we you can see step one, uh, first activity, all learners or trainees, trainees 
will follow this first activity. Second one is the same. Have to follow this activity and like I will, I will, I will pass. In short, like all steps, there is a progression which is linear. We start from a point a point A uh, to point point. I'm sorry for my accent English. Uh, point uh, D D by following all the all uh, the te the steps. Um, second one, conditional paths. It's um, I can say it's conditional. Uh, it means it's a course which will be organized by stage. In this stage, we can have a progression. Which is linear, like like um, like first uh, first path. Therefore, activities support activity true for from activities three, or else we can have a conditional progression based on my results on our results as we have previously seen. If only, if not only, if we want to go from activities one to activities two or three it will take certain condition and uh, this this these conditions what is this conditions this conditioning is going to be based on what are called results it works it works in both directions we can be invited to go further skip it a step and also to do go back is second one and for third one complex path complex path it's uh, complex <laughs> it's not easy it's a course which will be yes 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 and um this course we we have to really pass this these steps first first steps is first step with with four steps and um we say it's complex because uh, you know maybe with your games uh, you have to you have to unlock the for for to for pass the for passing to the next level and you will have to pass some condition what is the con some condition you have to pass this four four here this one this one this one for first uh, four steps and it's not gamification because uh, because it's just that we have complexified progression on the course at, and it's already adapted uh, to each learner there before. This is second one, and maybe I can say uh, yes is is uh, what I I uh, I explain that because complex pad is uh, not exactly adaptive learning but it's uh, we can say it's it's resumed it's not the same but there is something uh, common we can say uh, for for start adaptive learning you, we have to learn this this path this uh, this path because it's important and how works adaptive learning adaptive learning uh, uh, you have to a profile what what is your who who is your learner and who what what is your goal that what I said uh, before and what is your context what is your your appearance we can say and after after up, uh, up about this profile uh, we can we we will adapt it with algorithms and you can have a parkour at parkour in, in France, a, a pet a course just for you and adapted for just for your learning. Um, yes, adaptive learning systems have traditionally been divided into separate components or models, while different model groups have been presented. Most systems include some or all of the following model. Uh, we will see we will see together and yes we said the adapt adaptability of course uh, there is four four seconds for first one is second thing second thing that what we said is really first step like 
seconds like the conditional or yes like conditional pad second thing what is the condition and your context what is your context what 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 do you want to learn in uh, language or uh, science or another uh, something that and after what is uh, it will be for formative evaluation you have to evaluate but like uh, results we we seen uh, we have seen uh, before um, and after learning temporality you want to learn in week and uh, in month and in in four months, uh, etc. I can give you uh, two examples like Duolingo or Lingolingo. You have to learn what is your condition if you want every day, if you want to learn every day, if you want to learn what is your, your language, English, French, uh, Spanish. Uh, your evaluation, you have to pass uh, some, some, some exam, some, some test before to start and learning temporality like 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 uh, i said uh, do you want to learn every time uh, all time uh, every day yes and i will i will explain just um, there is there is two do for adaptive e-learning system for language learning there is two distinct levels first one computer in enhancing and second one computer based language learning yeah, we we will talk uh, especially this this uh, second one computer based language language learning and what is benefits maybe jaba uh, he will speak um, he will speak what is the benefit and um, and drawback i think and convenience in french uh, first one, a tutoring role puts special requirements on the teaching process. A price of a, a PS of software needs to adapt its behavior to suit the learners and deliver personalized instruction using various types of interaction. Second one, adapti adaptivity feature is thus uh, crucial in successful tutoring context and and com and compared and co corporate monitoring the learner so as to infer his or her characteristic and make appropriate up up hop hop yet adjustments to the teaching tutoring process and third one this is of particular importance in online environments where a wider variety of students with a wider variety of characteristics, it's very important uh, characteristic, have access to the learning system. This is uh, Jeba will will explain you. And uh, I have to speak uh, to I call E S A L L. It means um, computer based learning, language learning. Uh, I will just say uh, this this term um, is often uh, used for system offering any form of intelligent intelligent to natural language processing, and we will speak uh, after. And theoretical theoretical framework. Uh, there is intelligent tutoring systems technology. Uh, we have to speak this technology, which seems able to do, integrate all the above suggest requirements concerning efficient and effective language learning is is intelligent tutoring systems. If there are representative of the micro adaptive approach. So the adaptive and are usually defined as instructional systems able to do evaluate actions learner make during system use and develop appropriate models of their characteristics and in this system unfair learner characteristic multiple times taking into consideration both qualitative and quantitative features of learning I think uh, yes, and there is two examples. Uh, there is two exam example. Um, maybe I have to stop here. Uh, there is a tutor and Tagarella, Tagarella, and um, I will stop here.
Uh, hello, my name is uh, Jabajo Hawa. Uh, uh, I and Sinem uh, and uh, Nurgul work on topic adaptive learning. Uh, I present uh, adaptive learning in language acquisition, and benefit and uh, drawback. Mm. Abstract. Uh, of the, uh, is uh, to date the theory and the practice of uh, teaching has acquired many methods, uh, form and forms and means of uh, implementing uh, the educational process. But um, uh, the main one is uh, still the traditional systems in which uh, the teacher acts uh, as uh, an uh, informant and controller of the uh, student. At the same time, in uh, the uh, current uh, condition of changes in uh, the labor market and the growth rate of uh, society, one of the key requirements for uh, graduates is uh, their uh, ability to adapt to uh, changing conditions in uh, the country and uh, the world. Uh, this led to the rapid aging of uh, the traditional learning system and recognition of this uh, fact occurred at the end of the um, uh, last century. Uh, in uh, the adaptive system, uh, the roles of uh, the teachers and students is a change. Uh, the teacher acts as the organizer of the educational activity and asks for responsibility for the result, share them with uh, the students. In uh, this system, preference is given to a democratic leadership style rather than an authoritarian one. The student is the subject of training and not a possible uh, reception of information. Thanks uh, to the teachers, uh, obtained knowledge uh, is actively involved in uh, the uh, thought process and uh, is planning his own educational and cognitive activities. Uh, the result uh, is uh, the main place uh, is occupied, occupied by the student with uh, his individual characteristic, uh, biological inclination and abilities. Uh, the specifies of uh, this uh, organization of this uh, thought process, the level of activities and independence in particular and cognitive activity also working uh, capacity, etc. The result of uh, this uh, system is a uh, qualitative change in its um, individual characteristic. Uh, the active independence of the students in the process of cognitive activity contributes to the development of personal qualities. Uh, the formation of skills uh, of intellectual and uh, spiritual self-development as well as self-knowledge of this personality of the student uh, to uh, those of the adaptive training system designed at uh, the formation of the competence of personal self self empowerment adaptive and learning activity students uh, activity provide uh, optimal adaptation of the education process to the individual characteristics of students, increase uh, the motivation of learning, make it possible to constantly carry out effective control. However, adaptive learning has uh, advantage and disadvantage of a traditional uh, school uh, uh, system, uh, picture with the liner and uh, uh, adaptive in, uh, learning, uh, and uh, we want to talk about the um, benefit uh, of uh, adaptive uh, learning. Uh, adaptive learning can be adapted to write it uh, adds uh, value to the student and uh, to the individual piece of learning activities uh, customizable to meet all levels of learning. Um, <clears throat> the ability approach makes student achievement visible and can predict student learning outcomes by providing uh, 
uh, real-time feedback. Adaptive learning can engage and motivate students by using uh, in combination with other learning forms, which uh, uh, such as uh, the classroom online discussion project uh, group work. I'll continue uh, the uh, past control of the knowledge and the um, past class can give a question warrant of the uh, effectiveness of uh, training. Uh, learning is uh, less become dependent on uh, the pedagogical color skills. Uh, it uh, contains uh, instruction for teachers uh, on how or to organize lessons to help create effective uh, Classes. Uh, the uh, effect level of training is increased, the time spent on training is reduced. Uh, we uh, continue about the uh, uh, drawback of adaptive learning. Due to the fact that adaptive learning is a fairly new branch of education system, uh, there is not a huge amount of scientific research that holds for its effectiveness. Uh, adaptive learning curriculum for educational institutions to use and create a very expensive. The teachers remind the main thing in developing the course and analyzing the results. Uh, adaptive learning is not a medical technique that uh, instantly um, forces students to master each uh, topic. Uh, there is not enough opportunity uh, to adapt to the individual characteristics of students during the lesson. The development of adaptive learning paths must be um, carried out very uh, accurately arose in uh, the uh, content uh, easy to make because it is mm, difficult to um, create adaptivity test. The difficulty of uh, supporting various learning uh, style, uh, audio, visual, etc. When uh, creating adaptivity, mm, uh, it is necessary to take into account uh, laser, uh, complicated levels of work. Mm. Uh, we make uh, uh, a game for um, adaptive learning uh, language uh, acquisition. Uh, there are uh, two parts of uh, the game because in the scratch uh, it uh, not give possibility to make uh, together uh, because uh, there is not uh, functional to develop uh, completely uh, what uh, we wanted. Uh, the game like at the end, the primary goal of our game is uh, to teach language, French in our prototype, but uh, it can also be used to teach any uh, discipline. Uh, on uh, the first step, uh, users will learn basic words by means of association with the geographical object, uh, listening to the pronunciation of uh, a word and uh, seeing the uh, spelling. After uh, they need to write uh, this word uh, themselves. Also, we plan to um, <coughs> sign the pronunciation of the word, but um, because of the limitations and so on, of scratch, we have not done it, but we continue. Uh, next game is cat to cat, to cat meet, and creating the friends, but uh, one of them not understand and uh, tries to guess. After the show, the example what is about it knows uh, five French words and a have list of words. Which one knows second cat too? Second cat asks, does it uh, very happy? But uh, first cat has no idea what uh, question is uh, in French. Uh, second cat uh, tries to describe by five words and uh, first cat tries uh, to find word in a list. It uh, was uh, something but not sure. Second cat continues to explain by color list and finally first cat uh, Understand uh, that uh, thanks about uh, uh, good 
film. Thanks. Hello, my name is Nurgul, and now I'm going to tell you about adaptive learning implication in uh, language learning. Uh, so our plan for these five minutes is uh, to learn about EXO adaptive learning system, hybrid intelligence systems, and the future of adaptive learning. Uh, so the adaptive learning systems reached the peak of their popularity in 2004, according to Google Trends. That's when they started spreading all around American uh, secondary and tertiary educational institutions, mostly to teach math. And EXO is also an example of a math teaching platform. Uh, so uh, that adjusts the content and guidance to students at micro and macro levels, but it was deployed and developed in China in 2016. By now it has reached more than 100,000 students. Here you can see an example of a math problem on Ixu platform. So let's look why it has become so popular. The features of it is, uh, are that it has a fine grade knowledge map in which knowledge components are organized hierarchically. It has a diagnostic pre-assessment. That's why it is different from school-based instruction because first you do a test where they, you can see what kind of knowledge you need, what kind of topics you can skip. Also, there is an adaptive automated differentiated instruction immediate feedback and step explanation. So for example, after completing any task, you can see an explanation of how this problem should have been solved. Or if you can't cope with it, you can press the button, show me an answer, and then again, you will see this explanation, but your answer, of course, will be considered as incorrect. Uh, so there is a rich repository of different tasks, tests, activities, and there is an in-class support and intervention by teachers. By all these reasons, it has become a classical, very popular uh, adaptive learning system in China. And according to some researchers, students of the 8th and 9th grade learned more from it than from school-based instruction uh, in math subjects. But now let's focus on something more innovative, hybrid intelligence system. It is different from classical or we can say intelligent tutoring systems uh, by uh, uh, by this component, fuzzy system. Fuzzy system determines the next learning module based on the facial expressions, based on the emotions of a learner. So hybrid intelligence system doesn't take into account of the mental response, but also emotional response of the students. How it works? So fuzzy system works this way. There are four stages. First, face detection. Then there is facial feature extraction. So eyebrows, eyes, mouth. Then analysis of the facial features movements, motions, and interpretation of expressions. So the, in the diagram, you can see how all this works. There is a standard test exams manager uh, module that analyzes your performance, your answers to tasks. And also at, at the same time, your facial expressions are analyzed and all together on your emotional condition, on your responses, your next learning step is built. That's how they work, and they are gaining more and more popularity nowadays, and there are more and more researches on this topic. Overall, talking about the future of adaptive learning, we can say that there are some characteristics that future AL systems will have. They will be cost-effective to build, accurate in that assessment, efficient in carrying out decisions and recommendations. They will be able to scale not only to hundreds, but thousands and millions of students, flexible in being able to integrate with enterprise systems, also generalizable not only to STEM, but any other disciplines, and able to support transparent open learning models to encourage learners. So to sum up, we can say that in the future, adaptive learning systems will not only analyze your mental response, but also your emotional condition. So you don't even have to write your feedback. If you like, if you enjoy, if you find it boring, it will be analyzed. Uh, also, uh, a lot of scientists say that the adaptive learning systems in language learning are just in, its, in their infancy and with the development of fuzzy systems and natural language processing that analyzes human speech, uh, what meaning there is behind, even despite some errors in our speech. Um, we will have more developed AL systems, not just vocabulary exercises and trainers that we have now in different apps, but they will be able to help us practice speaking, listening, reading skills. Mm. So 
there's going to be a huge progress in AL systems in language learning. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you for your attention. Mm, bye.